Hey guys! So a while ago, me and Ryan went to a monkey forest. We had thought that we'd be able to see a couple of monkeys. We weren't expecting to see that many because it had actually been raining earlier in the day and during the night. Um, so we thought they'd all be in hiding. But when we walked in the enclosure, there were just monkeys absolutely everywhere. Um, and you know, you'd just be walking and there'd be a monkey walking beside you. So in this forest, there's around 140 monkeys um, and you were basically in an enclosure, um, but it was kind of open, so you would be walking alongside the monkeys and they'd be playing next to you. Um, there was a path and you weren't really meant to go off the path, but the monkeys could join you on the path if they wanted to. <gasps> Look at the little family. Oh. <laughs> so I think he's eating bugs off his chest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but there's three That's of them there. Cute. You dirty monkey. There's so much going on all at once. <laughs> it's, like, it's like nature drama. <laughs> Freaking adorable. <laughs> No, monkey got the uh, camera. No! <laughs> <laughs> Can you pick my chest for me? <laughs> no. I've got all the good bugs for you. <laughs> oh. So for this arty adventure vlog, I wanted to illustrate my time um, at the monkey forest. So the monkeys were so cute and adorable, um, but I just wanted to capture them and sketch them out for you guys um, and, you know, share a little bit of my experiences and some videos I got while I was there. The breed of monkey that lives in this forest are called Barbary macaques. They are endangered animals that usually live in the mountains. They do well in England because they acclimatise to cold winters and hot summers um, due to where they usually live. Um, so I am going to be draw drawing um, some several little sketches, um, coloured sketches of some monkeys and then one finished um, illustration at the end and I'm going to put a little bit of a background to it as well. Um, so I'm starting out sketching out my um, first monkey using an erasable coloured pencil. Um, for this one I decided to draw two little monkeys. Um, and the little baby one who was sitting behind them um, because I thought they were really cute and really adorable. The second one was actually the little monkey you could see above um, walking away from his parents. I don't know, I just thought his little walking was so funny so I drew that too. Um, and this little guy here, he was just, you know, just sitting and just by the side and I thought he looked quite funny with his little pose. Uh, and this guy, he was just sitting and eating some corn and I took a photo of him when um, the zookeeper came round and um, gave him some corn. So for the final illust illustration, I wanted to do the monkeys picking at each other's chests um, as I thought that was a really um, important part of um, their kind of thing. Like they're, they're social animals and how they make friends is by picking at each other's chests, by cleaning each other and grooming each other. So I thought that is what I'd draw. Um, so yeah, I've got this monkey down here picking stuff out of this guy's chest uh, up there. <laughs> So I am actually using photos I took as references. Um, yeah, so I just, just while I was there, I, to, while I was taking the, um, the cat videos as well, um, I took some photos um, and I'm using these to draw my monkeys. At the monkey forest, they have regular feedings. So me and Ryan went to see one. <laughs> oh, Bob just came. He saw. He oh my got. god. <laughs> you gonna get that, Bob. Bob the Barbary Macaque. So many. Oh my god. One little baby. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to skim stream so right now. I'm holding it in really well so that I can't guarantee it will last very long. Last year we had four ladies born. Oh! Yeah. 
Freaking birds. During opening hours, the monkeys are given food every single hour. They eat corn and fruit, but they also find plants and insects to eat in the enclosure. We're also told about the um, other facts, like how the males tend to spend more time grooming and playing with their babies than the females do. The monkeys also groom each other as a way to be friendly um, to one another and build relationships. So as you can see here, I am using um, watercolour just to add in a base layer of colour. I do then go over the top using coloured pencils. I really like layering at the moment, um, especially with ink and water and then colour and pencils on top. Um, I don't know why, but it's just something I really enjoy doing. Um, and it's a technique that I really love. I decided to pick some colours that complemented each other and contrasted. Um, but I think I possibly chose some of the wrong colours with some of these illustrations but I definitely think I made the right choice with this big one going with the um, greens, reds and browns. So I then went over using my coloured pencils to add in some extra details. I also used a fine liner as well just to you know, add some more definition to my illustrations. So I am using Prismacolor pencils to um, colour in my monkeys and I am using um, um, some watercolours I bought from Tiger. They're actually some very cheap watercolours but I really like them and they're definitely some of my favourite watercolours I own. Um, and they come in a little travel size compact disc so they're e really easy to take around with me. So as you can see here, I'm using this blue and the red on this monkey um, and I really think his little blue feet are so cute and I really like how that came out. This family of um, three were definitely my favourite um, there. Um, they were just really sweet and how they were kind of interacting with each other it was so cute. Um, the little baby monkey was a little bit naughty as he did run off, um, which is actually the monkey I drew down here at the bottom, this pink one. Um, and I kind of wish I did it um, a different colour to pink, but anyway, I still think he's really sweet. I think he's picked that there's like another group that stay more Looks in the forest, the which is cool as well. Like, so the monkeys can literally do what they want. Oh my god, did he get around the bird? What? I oh, know, I don't. I thought it looked like he grabbed the bird. He's <laughs> <laughs> eating the bird. He's eating the bird. Yeah. Like, I was gonna say, like, they've got such huge teeth, they look like they should be like. He's just enjoying the treat. Oh, off his go. Please get down. You're a bad influence from the children. <laughs> Hello. Do do oh, he's so cute. So lovely. Hello. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Hello. This doesn't want to be a camera. <laughs> Bye. Some of the baby monkeys were really throwing themselves around in the trees. They would be on one branch and then they would just jump down, way, way far down, and um, just onto another branch and they never miss. They'd always perfectly land on them. So at three years old, the monkeys are actually considered to be adults and they can live to be about 20 years old. Um, so some of the babies there were still very small, but they were, they could have, they were about two years old. Um, but there had only just been recently some ones that had just been born, so there were some babies there who were only a couple of months old. So for this final illustration, I wanted to do something really special with it. I really wanted a really bold background, and I kind of wanted to make it more like an illustration you could see in a children's book. Um, so the ideas from the stars and these leaves came from an illustration I did um, a while back in January. Um, I did a fairy, and she had they had some stars over it. And I really like the idea of having the contrasting colours with the yellows and the greens and the reds, which is why I then included the stars just to add an extra little something to it. Um, and that was inspired by my fairy illustration I did a while ago um, because I have the business card stuck to my wall next to my desk. And I was like, ah, oh, that would be a really nice thing to add to this illustration. Um, I did end up going over again with watercolours just because I really wanted the monkeys to pop out on the page.
I tend to stick to a lot of browns and pinks for my illustrations so I'm so happy that I decided to go for something a little bit different and went for a bright green and red and yellow um, because I really like my colour choices. Thank you so much for watching this guys I hope you enjoyed watching this kind of video um, it was really fun to make um, as I got to you know go somewhere fun and I got to film it and then I got to draw my experiences so if you guys want to see more videos like this if you want to see more arty vlogs um, please press the thumbs up button as it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this um, if there's any places you want me to go, um, it'd have to be in England unfortunately, please let me know in the comments below um, and I might just go there if you think there's some cool place I should go and check out. Also don't forget to check out my social media accounts which are linked down below. Um, I post a lot of things to my Instagram account which you won't see anywhere else so be sure to go and check that out. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified when my next video will be up on Saturday. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!